Hi there. This is a tutorial for using RIT all-purpose dye, which is meant for natural fibers like cotton, linen, and silk. So as long as the item that you're dyeing does not contain more than 40% synthetic fibers like polyester, you're okay using RIT all-purpose dye. If it does contain a little more, I'd recommend using our product RIT Dye More, but the instructions are a little bit different and you can find them on our website. A couple things to note about our product is that RIT Dye is non-toxic, and unlike other dyes, it doesn't take 24 hours to set. The techniques that we'll be using use squeeze bottles. If you don't have any, that's okay. You probably have something around the house that'll work. The last thing that you'll need is a baking rack and a tray to catch the dye. Otherwise, the dye will puddle underneath the fabric. Now we're ready to begin. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the classic way to tie dye, the swirl. For this, we're gonna use multiple colors, but feel free to use one color or as many as you like. It's really up to you. To start, you wanna take your fabric and pre-wash it. This removes any type of finishes that might be left on the fabric. Now, this is important, leave it damp or dampen it if it ended up getting dry. First, lay your fabric flat. Find the front center, pinch the middle, and just start twisting. You wanna get this nice and tight. Make sure the entire fabric is twirled up. I'm gonna take a couple rubber bands and secure your fabric. Prepare the bottle by mixing two cups of hot water with two tablespoons of dye. Give it a good mix. Now it's time to apply the dye. First, you'll put your baking sheet down to catch those drips. Put down your fabric right on top here and get ready to apply the dye. You can apply the dye liberally. What I like to do is start out by outlining my sections carefully. You don't need to be afraid of being too precise here. Again, going to the center, working my way out in sections. Oh, if you'll notice, I did put down a plastic cloth just to catch the dye. You might want to use a bin or something else that'll protect your countertop or floors. When the top's all dyed, what you gotta do is you're gonna flip it over and start on the other side. Try to match your sections that you did on the first run as much as you can. Again, not avoiding the center. Lining up your sections and getting those nice clean shapes. 30 minutes after dyeing your fabric, it's time to apply the Color Stay Dye Fixative. This will keep the colors fixed to your fabric and prevent bleeding. Just as before, you wanna take two cups of hot water with two tablespoons of the dye fixative into a squeeze bottle. Apply the fixative liberally all over the surface of your fabric. Don't forget to flip it and grab the other side. Now it's time for the microwave. Wrap your fabric in plastic wrap and put it in the microwave for two minutes. Make sure to put a paper towel underneath to avoid any type of dye excess. Once done and cooled, it's time to remove the plastic wrap and run it under cool water. This is very important so it picks up any unabsorbed dye if you don't do this, some of the dye could leave into the white areas when you put it in the wash. Now, put this in the wash with cold water and an old towel. That way it can soak up any other unabsorbed dye and make sure to wash this on its own. And there you have it. Now you know the swirl technique to tie dyeing. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the scrunch technique. This is a very popular tie dye technique right now. And for this, we're just gonna use one color. Feel free to use as many colors as you like. Again, it's up to you. To start, you're gonna to wanna to take your fabric and pre-wash it. This will remove any type of finishes that might have been left on the fabric. First, lay the fabric flat, then begin to scrunch it in with your fingers, like so. Next, take some rubber bands and begin to bundle your fabric. Next, you wanna place that baking rack down, and on top of that, your fabric. Now it's time to prepare our dye. You wanna take two cups of hot water, put it into our squeeze bottle, then add two tablespoons of our dye. Now it's time to apply the dye. You can apply the dye liberally, but one of the goals here is leaving white sections. This is a real test of constraint. We wanna make sure that we leave certain sections white so that our final product has a lot of contrast. 
try really hard to leave some white. Next, we flip it over and do the other side. After 30 minutes of applying the dye, now it's time for the Color Stay Dye Fixative. Adding two cups of hot water with two tablespoons of the dye fixative. Put that in a squeeze bottle and apply liberally all over our fabric. This will keep our colors from bleeding and our white areas from getting colored. Apply it liberally to the surface of the entire fabric. Make sure to get the other side. Now it's time for the microwave. You're gonna to wanna to take some plastic wrap, wrap your fabric and put a paper towel underneath and put it in the microwave for two minutes. This will heat cure the dye, adhering the dye to the fabric. Once done and cooled, remove the plastic wrap from your fabric and rinse it under cold water. If you don't do this, some of the dye could bleed into the white areas. Finally, you want to wash your fabric on its own in cold water with an old towel. It'll catch any unabsorbed dye. And there you have it. Now you've learned the scrunch technique to tie dye. Thanks for watching. Have fun tie dyeing.